Welcome back guys, I trust you've been staying safe. We just brought you a story of Nabiha and her five sisters. Now they were taken from their home by bandits and unfortunately her family's inability to pay a ransom of 60 million naira resulted in Nabiha being unalived by the bandits to serve as an example to her family that they were serious. Now guess what? A similar thing has occurred again in Nigeria just within the same time frame. And this time around, it's the family of a Nigerian lawyer by name Oladosu Ariyu. Now, this lawyer has a wife who is also a lawyer in Nigeria as well as his four kids. And again, just like in the case of Nabiho, lawyer Oladosu Ariyu, his wife and his four kids were in their home their own residence when bandits who were in uniform as though they were military officers barged to their home and then took his wife and his four kids. They took them away and demanded a ransom of 60 million naira. Does this sound familiar? This is very similar to what played out in the case of Nabiha and I would not be surprised if it's the same gang perpetrating these crimes or maybe these two gangs even if they are separate are still related because it looks like the modus operandi is very similar now again just like it's played out in the case of nabiha the bandits put out a ransom of 60 million naira and it became a very dicey situation for this lawyer and his family because they are not expected to pay the ransom but naturally as i do respect that feeling he was trying to find a way to raise the money and pay it to the bandits but unfortunately for him he couldn't meet their deadline and in these bandits with their twisted mindsets trying to show that they are serious about what they are saying they decided that the best way to do that unfortunately was to unalive one of the children to show the father that they were very serious unfortunately the one they unalived was a daughter by name Folashade Ariyu and this is very unfortunate this is one of those cases where it's difficult to call it's difficult to actually push through but we need to put the message out there and i don't know what the nigerian government and the security agencies are doing but i choose to believe that they are on top of the game on these things because this cannot become the normal state of events it's too serious and it's too dangerous and the more bandits are getting away with this the more it begins to embolden others to also get up take arms and start doing something similar to get free cash so i'm hoping that they are going to nip this in the bud but already as it stands lives have been lost abiha has been lost fola runsu has also been lost and we shouldn't be getting to this point but unfortunately that is where they have got into and i'm waiting to see what 
the government and security agencies are going to put in place to clamp down on this because it doesn't even end here because the other members of this lawyer's family are still with the bandits his remaining three daughters and his wife are with the bandits you have no idea what they are doing to them how they are being taken care of and even the trauma should they even be released the trauma they are going to live with all these are serious things that i don't know how they are going to deal with but of course the primary aim is that they are released just go to the comment section and type some consoling words for these families they are going through so much just give an rip to the Folaronso family and the daughter who has passed let's remember them in our, play, our prayers because these things are very difficult these things are very very difficult i can't even imagine what they are going through not to talk of the fact that this is money that it's not assured whether you already had it or not but you've been given a deadline to go and bring this money and as it stands now the father is now falling on the nigerian bar association to help him and i think it's in the right place because he's a lawyer and he does not have this money readily available but he belongs to an association and i'm i believe this is the time that friends and loved ones should lean in to help alleviate the situation although nigerian law or government i hear do not want the families to pay the ransom but it's been reported also that some families secretly manage and pay and negotiate with these bandits because for them their primary focus is on getting back their loved ones some will also say it begins to fuel the cycle i'm not going to debate this i respect why the families would want to do what they do whether it's right or wrong i understand where they are coming from and i'll leave it at that but on a more detailed note i am hoping that this is going to be nipped in the bud because this cannot become the everyday nigeria and it looks like these bandits are getting too bold to be able to walk into people's homes and do this they are not even taking them by the roadside they come to your home dressed in military regalia and they do all these things but my question also is how are they targeting these people because it looks like there is a method to this it looks like it could be the new thing that is coming up and people are trying to take advantage of it, it looks like this could be something that people are seeing as a way of making quick cash and putting such measures in place to terrorize the society and frustrate the efforts of the police now as it stands now no arrests have been made and it is unclear if the police are even going to be able to rescue all these victims of these kidnappers who are still in their custody without any casualties all these are there and when i meet parents talking about their concerns and their fears looking at how things are going in nigeria i really appreciate where they are coming from because you are not even safe in your own home anymore it looks like the law is breaking down looks like these kidnappers are doing what they are doing and they are getting away without any hindrance or any ramifications and that shouldn't be the case to have the infantry to even put on a military uniform to go and perpetrate the crime it shows you how bold these criminals are and i'm hoping that the nigerian security agencies will find these perpetrators as well as safely recover all these victims and give them the necessary support what do you think is leading to all this just go to the comment section and let me know also go to the comment section and just type rip michelle ariu and let's send some love out to her thank you for the support let's look out for each other i'll catch you on the next one